for this. You can feel the emotion. I hope you're ready for this. Uh, uh, I'm staying focused. I hope you're ready for this. You can feel the emotion. Yeah, I hope you're ready for this. Corey Davis. My time, my moment. Corey Davis, you have had an outstanding season to this point. We're not done. More to do, no doubt about it. What has pleased you most about how the 2020 season has gone for you on the field so far? I mean, obviously this is a season, you know, like no other with, with COVID and, you know, all the different protocols and everything. So just not only my ability, but the team's ability to adjust and, you know, just adjust on the fly and, you know, pretty much expect anything. Like I said, this is a, a different type of year. And the team has done a great job of adjusting and, you know, just making it happen this year. My time, my moment. When you make a play, it's like A.J. has to top you. And when A.J. Brown makes a play, it's like you have to top him. Yeah. Th that's really the perfect scenario for any set of wide receivers. It's almost like the two of you are raising the level of each other's game. Yeah, that's what you want. Um, you know, we're going to compete against each other and, you know, try to make each other better each and every day. And, um, you know, we complement each other well. Um, he's a great player. You know, he's a, a great teammate, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm real happy that he's on our side. He's a phenomenal player, man. I love watching him play. You never stop working. I watch you in pregame warmups and you're out with receivers coach Rob Moore and he's throwing tennis balls at you. Yeah. And you're doing some sort of drill where you're not looking and having to, to catch. Is that kind of work something that it not only makes you more prepared to play, but makes you mentally feel like, hey, I've put in all the work, now the game is just fun. Yeah, um, 100%. You know, I'm a firm believer in your confidence comes from your preparation. And you know, the more you prepare, the more confident you feel, you know, and that's something that me and Rob have been doing for a long time. And you know, that's going out there and, you know, getting my hand-eye coordination right. And um, like you said, it not, not only helps physically, but mentally as well. What has Rob Moore meant to you, Corey? Man, everything. It, it's kind of hard to put into words, but he's <laughs> he's been there for me, not only through, you know, my football adversity, but, but with life as well. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I've been handling, me and my family have been handling off the field that, you know, hasn't really been disclosed to the media. And Rob has been a huge part of that, you know, just keeping my mental right and, you know, making sure I'm taking the right steps. And his faith is really strong, and, you know, I've learned a lot from him on that aspect. Football or otherwise, what's the best advice that Rob Moore has given you? He gave me a verse that sticks with me all the time. It's Romans 12, 2, um, you know, do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that can apply, you know, not only in, in, in football, but in life as well. You know, like I said, you know, that's probably a verse I go back to at least once throughout the day. And, you know, it kind of gets my mind right and brings me back to a place to where, you know, I'm focused on God. And at the end of the day, you know, that's all that really matters is, is pleasing Him. You have been so consistent with the way you've gone about your job since the day you got here. Since you were a rookie and, and you've had injuries, you, you lost your brother this season and everybody knows that story and the difficulty in that and yet you continue to excel on the field. Where does that work ethic come from that has allowed you to be so consistent in terms of how you prepare? And I've, I mean, I've been like that, you know, my whole life. Nothing was ever easy for me. Nothing was ever handed to me. You know, I've learned at a young age that you, you want something, you gotta go get it. And you know, you have to work for it. And it's not always gonna be easy. You know, adversity will strike, but it, it says a lot about your character and who you are, you know, how you handle that adversity. You know, I'm expecting a, a little girl here in the next few weeks, and you know, I want to be able to tell her that you know, when adversity comes, you, know, you want to stand strong and, and, and don't fold. So you know, that's my motivation for sure. Being part of a team is a very special thing in everybody's life, whether you played in high school or college or like you in the NFL. Uh, that locker room has had your back over and over again. Your head coach has had your back. Can you describe what that means and has meant to you through the last months? Man, it's meant uh, <clears throat> so much, so much more than, than these guys even can imagine. Um, just to have them there for me and, you know, having my back and Braves and, and, and Art and Rob and all those guys, every staff member, every teammate reached out to me when I was going through what I was going through and my family was going through, you know, these tough times. They all reached out to me and they all just said, I'm praying about you and I'm thinking about you. And, you know, that goes a long way just to know that it's more than football with these guys. You know, it's a great locker room. I'm, like I said, I'm extremely happy to be a part of this team and, and got some great guys. As we're in this holiday season, it sounds like even in spite of all this, Corey Davis feels like he's a very blessed individual. No doubt. There's, uh, there's a lot to be blessed for each and every day. There, there's no question about it. Yeah, keep up the good work. We're all very, very proud of you and 
proud of the year you're having in, in every way. You're something else. Corey Davis, thanks for being our Nissan Insider. Yes, sir. I appreciate you.